What's up guys? It is your girl, the Karmic DF. Today we are going to talk about Mercury retrograde. Right now it's in the sign of Libra. And this is about, as always, being in retrograde, chaos, confusion when it comes to relationships and partnerships. But also, this is about balance. Libra is the scales of justice, you know? So this could be about contracts. This could be about faulty communication, realizing something that has been out of whack. Like, for instance, I'm being drawn to, like, spiritual me, like, calling me out actually exercise for instance are you exercising enough or are you exercising too much do you overdo it in certain aspects or do you underdo it in certain aspects do you make excuses for things that you know you should be doing or do you overdo things because you're a perfectionist so if you want to hear about this mercury retrograde please like comment share subscribe hit that notification bell and let's get to it one thing that you need to remember during this retrograde, because I believe it's till September 23rd, is that it's going to be very easy to have arguments, to have fights with your spouse, with your family, with your friends. So remember that you need to listen to hear somebody and not listen to respond, because it's going to be a lot easier to get angry, to pop off, to not actually be able to understand each other because of this Mercury retrograde. So remember that take things a little bit easier, you know, like actually sit and evaluate if you're feeling some type of way, if you're getting triggered, if your emotions are coming up to the surface, right? If you're having continuous arguments with your partner, sometimes it does mean that this may be a sign for you that this relationship or friendship no longer suits you, no longer benefits you. But in addition to that, it may also just mean that you're getting triggered because we're in retrograde and you need to bring it down a little bit and remember that the main theme of this is focusing on balance. If you are someone that is a peacekeeper, if you're someone that likes to, I'm seeing spirit go like this, that likes to silence themselves because they don't want problems, guess what? Problems are going to come to you because they need to be healed. They need to be resolved. You can't keep avoiding problems. So if there is, for instance, a lot of my clients, I've been seeing it lately with Mercury Shadow as well, your job may start to piss you off more than usual. A job that you might be making excuses for, that you realize you could do better and that you've actually just been settling for. The same goes with relationships as well. Maybe you've been in a relationship for a little while and you're like, it's good enough. Yeah, they're going to freaking rip that apart for you because it's going to make you take a real look at the reality of your situation. There is no more, well, I'm just going to kind of brush it under the rug. No, it's going to be brought to the surface, brought to your attention. So you may have extra drama with your friends that you don't usually have, extra drama in your relationship, fights. But remember, the main thing to know about this is instead of getting triggered and getting pissed off, Think about what the fights are really showing you. Remember, I've said this in prior videos, 111 on the clock as I'm saying this. Instead of looking at fights as like, this is a trigger, this is pissing me off, let me fight back. Pull yourself back from the situation and ask yourself, what is this teaching me about myself? Don't think about the argument that you've had and you're all pissed off and you're like, fuck that person. Blah, blah, blah. Take yourself away from the situation and ask yourself, what is this triggering in me or what is this trying to teach me? Is it trying to teach me that the friend groups that I'm in don't actually serve me anymore? Is it trying to teach me that I've been making excuses for this dead end job for years and now I can't deny it to myself anymore? It's going to smack you in the face with reality in terms of relationships, contracts, businesses. So just be prepared that your life may be shooken up a little bit, but that's okay because the sooner you align with the best version of yourself, the version of yourself that wants to come out and develop, then the sooner you can actually align to things, people, businesses, places that better suit you. Also don't want to scare you. If you're in a relationship or if you have any of those situations, friend, group, drama, all of that stuff, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's meant to be gone out of your life. It simply means that whatever you've like, I'm hearing passive aggressive. So maybe like you have an argument, usually you just kind of brush it off. Now it's time to be honest upfront, to truly communicate your needs, 
what hurts your feelings, what bothers you, what's not working so that you can bring it to a head and actually heal it. So if you have a fight with your partner, but you actually have a solid relationship, but it's one of those things where it's like, well, you know, I want to brush it under the rug because we're doing really well. No, we're done doing that. We're being honest with our communication. We're being open with our communication because the scales have to be balanced. There has to be balance in all relationships. And that is something you should continuously strive for. So it doesn't necessarily mean that these relationships are done for good. I'm hearing the song dead and gone as I'm saying that. So maybe for some of you watching this, it might be sorry, but the main message is, yeah, now I'm seeing block throat chakras. So the main message is really just, how do you stand up for yourself? Do you speak clearly what you need? Or do you pop off at the mouth because you're pissed? Do you know what I mean? Like there's a difference between getting angry and lashing out or simply being able to say, hey, these are my needs. These are what I expect in a healthy way, not being selfish. And this is what will take in order for me to feel comfortable in this relationship, to feel comfortable in this job, to feel comfortable in this contract, to feel comfortable in friendships, etc. So it's all just going to come to the surface. So the sooner you accept that you have a voice that you should be used to using and being honest with yourself and honest with others, the easier it's going to be for you. You're definitely going to feel it a little bit more if you are a Libra or have it in your big three. But don't be too overwhelmed with this. Understand that it is meant to teach you that you need to align to the best version of yourself. You need to align to the honest version of yourself. We live in a society where we quiet our voices so that we make everybody else around us happy and we need to stop doing that. And we fear Mercury retrograde because we know that chaos is coming. But if we realize what this chaos is for, then we can understand who we need to be and step up to the plate so that we can realize, all right, well, this relationship is actually salvageable. I just need to use my verse, my voice more versus, okay, this is not salvageable. You're not hearing me. You're not trying to hear me. This needs to go. Do you see the difference? We need to learn how to step into our authenticity. We need to learn how to step into our power and we need to learn how to use our own voice and speak up for ourselves. As in addition to this, obviously there's going to be technology problems. So if you're getting a little pissy, like I would stay away from social media a little bit, but like, you know, phones break, television, all that stuff always happens. Don't have to say that. That's every Mercury retrograde. But just remember that the main point of this is that triggers are learning lessons for you. Triggers are meant to be there so you can figure out what needs to be healed. And the sooner that you accept that, the sooner you realize that it's not a bad thing, it's just something to be aware of that's brought to your attention so you can decide to either heal something or let go of something that no longer suits you, the sooner you realize that Mercury retrograde is actually a blessing in disguise. Last but not least, we already know this, exes will come back. Some exes will come back. They will come back into your awareness or they may slide into your DMs. Now, I know a lot of people just be like, ah, oh, fuck that. But if they're coming into your awareness or if they're reaching out to you, there is unfinished business there of some sort. That doesn't mean that you have to date your ex. Don't text your ex at two in the morning and be like, hey, I miss you. Don't, don't repeat the same lessons, you know. But if you feel a need to, for instance, reach out to your ex and apologize, then maybe it's time to do so. Or if your ex reaches out to you, figure out what it is that they're really reaching out for. Maybe it's time for them to take accountability for what they've done to you. It doesn't always have to be so bad when it comes to the exes coming back. Just realize that it's Mercury retrograde and they're more than likely not here to stay. So if your ex comes back, and I actually did look up the date, it's switching from Libra to Virgo. So it's actually going until like October 2nd, I believe. But the Libra is very heavy on relationships. So we really need to focus on that because we could self-sabotage and we could hurt relationships that are actually meant to stick around. 111 again on the clock. So it's up to you to manage your triggers and realize what is it trying to teach me. Keep asking yourself that as we go through this. What is this meant to teach me? I'm being triggered. I'm being hurt. This ex is coming back. This job is pissing me off, etc. What is this really trying to teach me? And the moment that you can switch your brain to that instead of being emotional about it, the quicker you can learn the lessons that they're trying to teach you and the quicker you can move forward with your life into your best alignment. 
So I'm going to leave it at that. I, I probably got the dates a little bit off, so bear with me here. But as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments. Please like, comment, share on this video. And as always, I hope you have a great Mercury retrograde and don't get back with your ex. Love you guys. Bye.